Around 40% of the EU population lives within 50 kilometers of the sea. So emissions from ships are a key concern for citizens and policymakers alike. Sulfur oxide emissions, including from ships, damage human health and the environment. And here in the EU, the Sulfur Directive caps the sulfur content of marine fuel. Monitoring compliance with the Directive demands innovative solutions. And one of those solutions is drone technology. Remotely piloted aircraft systems are a valuable tool for member states. Normally you will check on vessels when they come to port. And only at port, with an inspector, you can check what the vessel has been doing and what kind of fuel it has been used during the journey. But the vessel has multiple tanks with different fuels. So it's still difficult uh, at port side to figure out what the behavior was of the vessel at sea. And with a drone, you really can call them in the act. You really can go above them in the plume and measure uh, the fuel that's being burned uh, by the ship at that particular moment. My agency is responsible for enforcement and monitoring under the EU Sulfur Directive. ARPAS gives us the opportunity to, to go out and to be there and be present and also show our presence and learn uh, what's happening when ships are crossing uh, German waters um, and maybe not even entering German ports, let's say from the Netherlands to Denmark in the North Sea. This AirPass mission from EMSA helps us a lot. It increases our efficiency. We wanted to improve the sulfur monitoring in the Klaipeda port, so we requested the service from EMSA. I was trying to do a little bit of uh, statistics, so I calculated that it will, it will do like a 300% increase in our efficiency in uh, monitoring the sulfur emissions. Hemos desarrollado mucha experiencia en el control de las emisiones en puerto o a través de las inspecciones, pero no teníamos herramientas hasta que empezamos a utilizar el, el AirPass para saber de primera mano cómo son estas emisiones de los buques en navegación. <música>